I want to take you to a company now that is at the cutting edge of energy and mining innovation. Element One Hydrogen and Critical Minerals Corp was previously known as Boscando Resources Corp. The company has unveiled a three-pillar strategy encompassing outright project exploration, breakthrough extraction technologies, and a specialized team of experts. With its recent name change and a new partnership to license subsurface hydrogen and critical minerals technology, its ambitions are quite bold. Well, I'm pleased to be joined now by Brad Kitchen, Element One CEO, and we're going to take a closer look. Brad, thanks for coming in. Devin, thanks very much for having me. I'm curious, Brad, how does Element One's transition into natural hydrogen set it apart from uh, traditional hydrogen production, and why is the right time to make the shift? It's a very good question. This is the brainchild of, of Tim Johnson and Kyler Hardy. And about eight months ago, they came up with the idea of using where their strengths were, which was exploration and critical minerals, but combining that with the new technologies that you mentioned that we have that can actually generate natural hydrogen from some of the traditional exploration techniques that we're using. Um, Natural hydrogen, though, itself is a new industry. Yeah. So it's it's something that we have to explain. It's something that gives us an opportunity because we're sort of that leading edge of that tidal wave that's coming. But we decided that we wanted to focus on this new development and be able to ride that wave to to become a much more significant player in the natural hydrogen market. And I suppose that was took a big space in some of the road shows you just recently did. Well, thanks very much. As as and I appreciate you saying that we we've, we've recently become element one hydrogen and critical minerals. Yeah, we changed as you mentioned from Buscando. Um, slight story with that. It took us a little while longer because we had to change our name and we're a British Columbia company. Government was on strike, so we had to wait for the name change. But what we did, by education, I'm a civil engineer, mm. and I would never walk across any bridge I built, but what civil engineers do is we build solid foundations. And we've got a track record for doing that with other companies, and we've done that now in Element One. We have a solid foundation that's, as you mentioned, in projects, yeah. in technology, people, and also the corporate umbrella. Uh, we've put that in place over the last eight months, the name changed, the new symbol, which is E1 on the Canadian Stock Exchange, uh, has just come through and, and we've just started our road shows. In fact, this week was the first two days that I've had road shows in, in Toronto. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting the message out, telling people what we're doing and why we're the turn two company when it comes to natural hydrogen. All right, let's get into that. I, I wanna take a closer look at this, some of the main projects that you're sort of concentrating on at the moment. What seems to be the most promising for you? Well, that's it, sort of a three-prong approach that we're taking. Um, it, it's the one that's very exciting for us right now is a partnership that we're doing in development of technology to extract hydrogen from ultramafic rocks. So what we're doing is using our expertise in critical mineral exploration, but combining that with new technology that we have and we're building in conjunction with Columbia University in New York that will extract hydrogen from ultramafic rocks and in addition will also allow us to extract other critical minerals like um, nickel, yep. for example. So we're using traditional geograph ge geological exploration to extract hydrogen. So that in itself is something new and something that other people aren't doing. We have four projects right now, um, one in the uh, in Alaska and three in British Columbia. We're going to be building that portfolio, that hard rock portfolio, I will say. And in addition, we're doing something that's very unique in the junior resource world. We're making money. We have a joint venture partner on Alaska. We have our first um, uh, revenue that's coming into the company in December. Yep, It's going to be a combination of cash and also shares. And that's one other pillar of what we're doing. We're doing natural hydrogen extraction from rocks. We will be doing uh, a more traditional hydrogen exploration in accumulation play. We've got large companies like Bill Gates' Coloma, mm -hmm. 
uh, High Terror, they're working in Kansas. You've got Power Max, or Max Power, excuse me, um, who's in Saskatchewan. And they're doing traditional uh, accumulation plays where they're drilling down and looking for natural hydrogen pockets. Uh, QIMC is doing the same, very good companies. And, and we will be doing that also in the States. We have an extremely good geologist that is, is top of the line. Mm -hmm. um, and we've identified some new projects there. Then last but not least, and this is another technology angle, is that we're developing the technology to extract hydrogen from old oil and gas wells. So these are oil and gas wells that have the infrastructure there. They're depleting their oil and gas, and we're going to be able to extract whatever is left there from oil and gas, but also hydrogen as well. Brad, it's interesting you say that because with all of these ambitions, you've got to make sure your leadership is intact. Yeah. You've got to make sure you've got a team of expertise personnel there. Is that shift something that you guys put a lot of emphasis on? Because you clearly focused on what you want to do and you need that expertise, don't you? Well, I think that's also the big, the, that's the ace up our sleeves. Yeah. And that is the management team and who we've put together. Um, Kyler and Tim, as I mentioned, have the experience. They, they have the expertise in developing solid assets for our shareholders. Um, they've done very well in the past. My background is more investment banking. I worked at CIBC with Gundy, uh, where I was a VP and Director of Structured Finance. Mm -hmm. But I bring a little bit of success in, in companies like developing the Windfall Lake project. I took it from zero to bankable feasibility. Oh, Cisco then took it over and just recently sold it for $1.6 billion. Another company, very good company in the ESG space is ES Gold. Yep. I came on last Ju July, it was 3 million market cap. I left in May, it was 100 million market cap. So in 10 months, we took it from 3 million to 100 million and created the value for the shareholders that, that it deserves. Yep. We're going to do the exact same in element one. We need to get the message out that we are the company that you want to turn to when it comes to natural hydrogen. We're going to be leading edge on the technology. We're going to be leading edge on the project development, the people that can actually implement our projects. And then, as I mentioned before, we've got revenue coming in in our joint venture or our, some people don't like the term, but project generation. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's the four angles that we have under that corporate umbrella. You may have mentioned this, but you've signed an LOI with Stone to H2 for subsurface hydrogen and mineral extraction. How does that technology work? Well, that's really, it, it, it's using, it, that's the agreement with Columbia. Yep. Well, indirectly through Columbia. We're doing our research. It's nice having a research lab in, in New York. The, that's using traditional exploration techniques to find the ultramafic rocks. And once we found those ultramafic rocks, what we're effectively doing is, I don't want to use the term fracking because that's looked on negatively, but it's more of an environmentally friendly fracking where we're taking water and a chemical mixture. And what it does is reacts with the ultramafic rocks and produces hydrogen. Right. And it will produce almost, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, in situ mining of nickel and, and it's, yeah, solvent mining of, of nickel as well. Okay, so listen, what, what's the commercial path ahead here? Because investors would be looking at this and saying, what are the key milestones am I looking at when I'm looking at this commercial route? Well, that's extremely important. So the milestones that you're going to be seeing from us over the next little while are, are more projects. You're going to be seeing benchmarks in our technology development. You're going to be seeing new joint ventures we're going to be seeing expansions down to the lower 48 in the States, more projects in Canada. We're going to be expanding over to Europe. So with us, it's it's basically snowballing. And that's starting now. And it, it's I'm not sure where it's going to stop. But the key thing is, it's a new industry. And we're a new company. But we're well positioned to grow exponentially. And we feel that that's going to happen in the next year or two years. We'll leave it on that positive note. Brad Kitchen, Element One Seal, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Mm -hmm.